What's good everyone? This is All Stuff 4 and I'm back here on how to install SNES emulator on your PS3. First thing you need to do is go ahead and download it from the description below. I have the link down below. And um once you download it, you should have a file like this. After you download it, go ahead and plug your flash drive in. So once you plug your flash drive in, go ahead and open it, you know, and f copy and paste that file SNES to the root of the flash drive. So I already have it in there, so I'm just going to copy and replace whatever. Okay, after you do that, go ahead and unplug the flash drive, and then go to your PS3. And then go ahead, go ahead to um to install package files. My yours might look a little bit different than this. This is because I'm on Rebug, so I'm gonna install it right now. After you're done installing it, you should have it on your installed on your PS3 right now. But go ahead and go to Rebug or Multiman, whichever one of your choice, because you're gonna need to um, connect your PS3 to your to your computer through FileZilla. So I'm gonna I'm running Rebug right now, Rebug Toolbox. So after you've done that, go ahead and go to FileZilla and enter enter your IB address right here since I already have it connected it before it's in my history so there it is now what you need to do is go to the dev underscore hh hdd0 right there and then go to game lowercase and then scroll all the way down till you see SNES 90,000 and then go to USR the IR and then ROMs, you go to ROMs. This is a this is how you install a game by the way. So in the description below I have Super Mario World. If you want to go ahead and download that one you could you can go find different games. There's plenty of them online. But I have Super Mario World in the description below. Go ahead and download it. And after you download it, copy it to the ROMs file. So after you've done that, you finish with FileZilla, now you can just exit out FileZilla and then go to your PS3 and then you're done with Reba Toolbox. So you can go ahead and quit. Now what you need to do is go to um, go to the SNES emulator. All right, so once you run SNES, go ahead and press select, then press R1 all the way to back, and then press X on startup ROM directory. Then go to D D E F H D D zero the same file and then go to game lowercase and then go all the way down to SNES 90,000 and then USR dirt then ROMs and then after that press triangle and then go ahead and um, restart SNES
after you do that go ahead and go to ROMs go down to ROM and then you should see Super Mario World USA press on it and that should start the game just like that and yeah that's pretty much it so if you have any questions please comment below share and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this alright thank you guys